Praise the Lord, Adam from Team Jesus Preachers here. Want to make a quick video. Praise the Lord, we just left Torch Lake. It was a mighty work out there today. If you guys have seen on the channel, we had a, a couple videos up from last year's outreach. As I uh, was sharing on the video um, in preparation to come back, and this is where I grew up. This is the place I used to go to when I was in sin and party and go on the lake and drink and smoke marijuana and you know everything. It's just um, part of my past now. I just praise God to be able to come back out here with, um, we've got Jacob in the front here. I'm gonna give him, give him a chance to say hi. Hold on a second. Praise God. There's Jacob, say hi. Jacob came Amen. up from Dayton, Ohio. What's the name of the ministry again, brother? The uh, YouTube channel? Dayton Street Preachers. Dayton Street Preachers. Brother came up from Ohio and he brought his truck up here so we had to rent a car and it's just been blessed having Brother Dayton. He's uh, our brother Jacob from Dayton. He's actually um, endeavoring to move down to Fort Myers soon. Praise Amen. The Lord. So he's here. We got my wife over here. Say hi. Hello. So, and then this is really special hey, guest, everyone. brother. This is Stephen. Yeah. Want to introduce Stephen to you. Uh, Stephen, talk about just what you were sharing with us about how you uh, how you knew about us. Uh, yeah, I watched uh, Team Jesus Preachers online. I've been watching it for about four years. I just listen to it all the time. I really can't get enough of all the preaching, and it's so great. And it's just wonderful to meet these guys today, and I had a great day at Torch Lake. I preached open air for the first time. It was wonderful, and praise God. Thank the Lord in all things. Amen. And, uh, I was a little nervous, but I remember, you know, be anxious for nothing, you know. Don't be anxious about, about that, so it was really nice. Yeah. So, Stephen, um, back when you first found the channel, um, so God uh, started to help you, and you actually went out a few times to evangelize, right? Yes, yeah. I actually uh, went to the website, bought a sign, and just went out uh, to the Cherry Festival and held it, and just held it there, and I had a... A big stack of tracks. There are a bunch of chick tracks and uh, some other ones that I was just handing them out, and and it was nice. And but I didn't do any preaching. I just held the sign and I, I talked to people. But today I did some preaching. And it was with the Team Jesus preachers, and the Holy Spirit was there with us. And it was great. Wow. See, this is amazing, you know. And so I love, uh, you know, I love when God does stuff like this. So. We, uh, we, we, okay, the connection got a little choppy there. I think I'm back now, but so I was sharing that, um, Jacob, myself and Raina, we show up to Torch Lake and we had no clue that Stephen was there and, you know, God just had us cross paths and it was so neat because, um, Jacob and I went to go park the truck and we came back and there's this amazing just sweethearted brother with us just look on his face he's just wanted to serve jesus and you know it was really neat to hear him talk about how god had led him out there of being with us and wanted to be a part of the mission and battle for for lost souls and lift up the, the kingdom of god so you know we got a lot of amazing uh footage of what god did out there it was quite a rowdy crowd thousands and thousands of people you know uh, I, there was more people there this year. I, I, I'm, I'm positive it was just so packed out there. It was a mighty work. We were the only preachers there. And, you know, it's a real tough environment, a um, very unstable environment, very sinful environment. People knew it too when we were talking to them. It was really uh, they they couldn't refute uh, just just that there was they were in sin, you know, and and um, so it was good that our presence was there so we could talk to them about the condition that they were in and really just point them to Jesus and and and, and just. You know, warn them about about what the Bible says will happen if they don't repent. These all these things are so important in these environments, especially when they're there. You know what I mean? They can't hide from the reality, and so uh, it was just a beautiful work out there. I wanted to share you that I share with you that testimony about Brother Stephen meeting up with us. Um, we're so excited to meet other brothers and sisters in this area. Pray for us. Uh, this is just the first leg of this journey. We're actually headed up to Traverse City right now to go get some nourishment and then hit the Cherry Festival tonight. Uh, if you guys saw the video footage from that last year, tons of people, a lot of young people, real good interaction. So we're excited to see what the Lord is gonna do. And uh, you know, the banners are so effective. People see these banners.
praise God, this connection keeps breaking. What I was saying was about the banners. And I want to just encourage you guys that everything that you do, you could just come out to a preach and hold a banner. You could just walk up and down a street with a banner. I tell you, man, we were we were walking up and down the sandbar with our banner. Even when we were at the end, we were preaching. People were just caught by what the scriptures were saying. And it was a beautiful, beautiful work out there. God kept us safe. Uh, we appreciate everybody that prayed for us because uh, the Torch Lake preached last year. People got violent, actually. A guy pushed me in it and got arrested. And, you know, there weren't even any police uh, there during the, the majority of the preach. So God had angels around us protecting us. You'll see from the video. And uh, it was a mighty work. A lot of good interaction. People were considering everything we're saying. Nobody fell down their face and, and said, what wants to do to be saved? But we know that so many seeds were planted and watered. I was just one thing after another out there. Crowds drawn in by the word. Just They're wrestling with God. The Holy Spirit was dealing with hearts. You could cut the conviction with a knife out there. The word was going forth in power. And the people knew it. And so praise the Lord. Just giving you guys a praise report. We're up here in Northern Michigan. My uh, place where I was born and raised. Up here laboring for the, for, for, for the Lord. So we appreciate you guys. Please continue to pray for us. we got a, a few more days up here at the Cherry Festival. We'll do some live streaming so you guys can see what's going on. And uh, So we're excited to be here. Pray that people get saved. We want some good testimonies of people getting yeah. saved. Yeah. Healed, you know. We, we believe in the power of God. So I wanted to share that quick testimony with you. Pray for Stephen. He's with us now. We got another soldier for Christ, another laborer, another person who's willing to carry his cross and be reproached yeah. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, it's just amazing. It gets me so excited because I know what's in store for him. So, amen. God bless you guys.